Hello everybody, Big Ed here. Welcome back to another episode of Skyblock on High Pixel. At the start of this episode, we're going to be doing some Slayer. So we're going to speak to Maddox the Slayer. Uh, I'm not too far into this. Uh, we're level 3 on the zombies. We're level 2 on the spiders and we have only killed level 1 on the wolves. I'm not quite high enough or good enough stat wise to kill any higher. So I've tried doing this one here. Um, the level 4 Revenant Horror, but I just got absolutely annihilated. Uh, I, I'm not good enough to kill him yet, unfortunately. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill quite a few of these Revenant Horror 3s to level up my uh, boss leveling rewards here. And uh, I'm just going to grind some XP, basically. Some Slayer XP and some Combat XP. Uh, I might do some Spiders. I can't kill the level 3 Spider either. That is far too difficult. Uh, I can kill the level 1 and the 2 very, very easily, but the level 3 is very difficult. Uh, the wolf, I haven't tried the second one. I don't think the wolf can be damaged by the staff that I use, so I'm at quite a disadvantage there. Because this staff does over 50,000 damage on one hit, so it's unbelievable. So um, if it, if I could use the staff, I'd probably one hit this one. But do you know what? I oh, know. Uh, should we try the wolf? No, 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 no. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a spider one. Can't kill this one. So let's do the tarantula, broadfather two. So what I do for this one is I do slash visit prtl. Too many people have gone to the island. All right. As I was saying, I do slash visit prtl. Very, very handy island because look at all these portals around here, and there's cakes that you can eat as well. And I go to a Rackner's sanctuary because that's the boss area just there we can kill the big boy spider and then i just go to the bits on the outskirts kill these spiders here uh, until i get enough xp to kill the boss so i'm just going to quickly run around and get xp for the boss and i shall bring you back right here we go here's the big boy spider coming in so i just use this wand here there we go one shot it that's how good this wand is that's why I really wanted to try and use it on the, um, on the, uh, what's it called? Wolf. But I really, I don't think it works, which is unfortunate. But nonetheless, I'm just gonna, oh, I'm gonna keep doing this and grinding lots and lots of Slayer XP. And, uh, I'll bring you back when I decide to do something different. Right, I've, uh, I've made an educated decision. And I'm gonna try and kill this level 2 wolf. I don't know the best area for killing the wolves, so I just come back to visit PRTL and go to the Howling Cave. I don't know if this is the best area, but um, this is the only area that I've accidentally stumbled across that actually has wolves in it. Let's try and use this staff here. Oh, the staff does work. Okay, so we'll have to try that again when the, uh, when the boss spawns. Right, here we go. Here's the next wolf spawning in. 40,000. I should be able to one-hit this if I don't lag. I can't shoot my wand for some reason. My wand isn't shooting, which is extremely annoying. Why is it not shooting? Yeah, my wand isn't shooting for some reason. Well, the boss men should get slain. I don't know how, but um, my, as you saw, my wand wasn't shooting the uh, the wolf, which is quite annoying but nonetheless we shall move on what i would really appreciate from you guys down in the comment section below is how to level up your combat skill quickly because i really want to in increase my combat but i don't know how to do it quickly if i'm honest i uh, i just go into the dwarven mines and just kill a load of stuff in there i kill the enderman in the end as well um, I killed the dragon boss a few times as well, but I'm looking for quick, reliable uh, XP makers. So if you guys would kindly let me know, that'd be brilliant. Oh, I've just leveled up to level 42, look. Right, I'm going to call Slayer there. I'm going to bring it to an end. Uh, it was fun. I leveled up. I uh, got a bit of combat XP, which is good. But I want to try and do something a bit different. Bang. Right. What is different? I don't know. But... Right, so what we are going to do is we're going to teleport ourselves to the end and we're going to see if we can kill a dragon boss. They don't spawn in very frequently, so this may take some time to actually get a kill. We, uh, ooh, If we get lucky enough, we may just come into a server here where they just keep spawning the dragon, which if that's the case, that'd be unbelievable. But I'm just going to very dangerously and very quickly make my way down 
lose most of my health and get to the dragon area here here we are the dragon area if you guys have never been here uh you come here kill these zaylots uh these zaylots have a chance to drop a summoning eye and then use a the summoning eye obviously to kill the boss it doesn't look there's very many people here so the oh, what's that ender monocle combine nine of these stone at the thaumaton Thaumaturgist to permanently unlock the sighted power at 250 magical plus 347 intelligence. That's incredible because I use the intelligence with this um, uh, with this uh, staff to do more damage. So if I can do more damage with this staff, I'll be laughing. Oh, I just I just spawned a, a special um, a special zealot somehow killed it and it gave me a summoning eye so that's quite lucky i think i don't know what the chances are but i've only killed about 20 of these zaylots since i've since i've got here in this session so i feel like that's quite lucky right so what i've stumbled across here is an o an endstone protector and when you kill enough zaylots they spawn in so i think it's 5000 so uh, you, you can tell we've been here for a long time uh, i haven't killed 5000 myself but uh, I, I did. I have killed a fair few. What's overflux? I don't know. I can't pick that up, unfortunately. But I've been here for a long time, at least half an hour, and no dragon has spawned. Granted, I haven't placed my one eye that I've got, but no one else has placed any either. Uh, if, if if other people placed, I would have placed mine as well, obviously, just to help. But no one seems to be spawning it in. So I'm going to piece the scene. Put this idea to bed and uh, do something different. I don't know what yet. Um, I kind of want to just get my combat up. But I'm waiting for you guys in the comments to tell me the best way to do that. This one, as you can see, is unbelievable. It just one-shots everything. I mean, these Zaylots have got 13,000 health. I think it's... Did it say 61,000? Wait for one to spawn. 63,509 damage. Very, very, very nice. Right, I'm going to teleport back to the island, empty my inventory, and we'll set up a new plan. Right, so I've just done some research here. I got that Ender Monocle from a Watcher. It's a rare loot with a 0.5% chance of getting it when you kill it. So that's very, very, very lucky. Uh, we just need to get eight more, and then we can combine it at that man uh, and unlock it permanently. Um, and then, what did it say? 300 and something intelligence, which if I can get that, then this wand here would be, oh, I reckon, do well over 100,000 damage. That'd be incredible. And one shot everything then. All right, so unfortunately, uh, I just recorded a clip of me uh, creating this tree capitator uh, axe. But unfortunately, the clip got corrupted. So I'm just going to go over it again. Unfortunately, you won't see me making it. But uh, we use the jungle axe and eight stacks of enchanted obsidian. If we go to our collections, uh, where is it? Oh, collections, foraging. No, it's not collections. Ignore that. Your skills, foraging. No. Right, I'll get there in the end. One second. Collections, foraging. I don't know what I'm doing. Your skills, foraging. Ah. So you go to your skills, mining. So go to collections, mining, obsidian. There we go. Tree capitator recipe. Click there. So we need to use the jungle axe and eight stacks of enchanted obsidian. So this is a forceful gold axe which can break a large amount of logs in a single hit. So we finally made that, which is very, very nice. So with that, we can fly through foraging, hopefully. And my goal is, if I go collections, foraging, birch, is to get this. So with birch wood six, so 2,000 birch woods chopped down, you got a small foraging sack. And the small foraging sack you can use to store wood. And these sacks are brilliant. I've got the large agronomy sack. And the large mining sack. Uh, I'm working on the gemstone sack still to get up to medium and then large. But these sacks are unbelievable. Like 20,000 items of each item, that is. So this mining one, 20,000 coal, 20,000 cobblestone. Unbelievable. Saves so much storage. It's brilliant. But this axe, for the time being, is going to sit in here with our other tools. This is my good fishing rod. Um, it's the best fishing rod I own. Because uh, my fishing level is very, very low. 
So eventually I might start doing some fishing, but yeah, I've got that ready just in case. I don't know what to do with enchanted seeds. As you can see, I've got two, four, six, eight. I've got almost 10 stacks of enchanted seeds. So if any of you guys know what to do with enchanted seeds, please let me know. And uh, I'm, I'm interested. I'm very, very interested. Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's a bit of an update again. Uh, back into the swing of doing proper videos. Uh, working on the next one now. Hopefully a bit more of an update. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, target, if you haven't seen the short videos, is 600 subscribers. And uh, yeah, we will we, we, we'll be doing something good to hit that milestone. But yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.